every once in a while we get uh, questions on how do I clone your theme okay so Fortson is kind of a complicated theme uh, as are a lot of them and so if you wanted to clone it so that you can customize it build on it hopefully uh, maybe return some of that to the original project um, let me show you how to do that so it's not as difficult as you would think but there you're probably going to run into some issues and I hope that I run into some issues while we are doing this live so I can show you how we troubleshoot them fix them and uh, successfully clone the theme so I did a quick search cloning a theme shows up on moodle.org um, and uh, but it's outdated okay but it's a good start and we're gonna kind of roll with it here so um, first thing that we do is we want to copy the files so I'm just gonna make a copy of Fortson rename it and we're just gonna call this one Fortson 2 okay the next step that we want to do is we want to change the language file we also want to call that one Fortson 2 okay and uh, just so we can follow along here um, I'm just kinda going through these we're gonna wanna change some of the the names inside the actual file but we can we can get to that um, what I like is the recipe for the impatient here so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna just open this up and change this to Fortson 2 and Fortson 2 right here just so that um, when it read when we finally install it on Moodle uh, it doesn't say Fortson and here's the next thing that we're going to do I'm gonna open up Sublime Edit and we're gonna go down here to Fortson 2 and I'm gonna go find in folder and basically what we're looking for is anything that says theme Fortson. We want to change that to theme Fortson 2. We're going to hit replace and uh, it's going to do it a thousand and twenty five times. So you can see here's the component Fortson 2. Um, I'm just going to kind of look through here. Okay. So I've done that. Now I just need to save all the files. So I'm just going to close all files and I'm gonna click save apparently 45 times okay so I'm saving all these files and I know that there's going to be an error that pops up because one of the um, this file right here this Fortson lib file we're going to rename it whoops I guess I can't oh down here rename we're gonna call this Fortson 2 and I want to open this up and this page location we're just gonna change this to page location 2 and that is called in the config file so we're gonna come over here and we're going to find where is it if theme da, 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 da. page location two so we're going to add that right there that's and I think with that done we should be able to install this um, holding my breath here so we have all that here is our development site and I'm just gonna click on site home ah okay warning Fortson lib failed to open stream so what that basically means is it's looking for a file that doesn't exist okay if you recall I changed this this file right here to be Fortson 2 lib and over here I failed to change it right here so 
Once we do that, let's refresh the screen. Oh, there we go. Voila. Upgrade Moodle database. And let's see what happens. Success. Okay. What do we have? Duplicate admin page name, theme setting Fortson. Okay, that's an easy enough fix. We hop over here and is it under settings? Yes, theme setting Fortson. If you wanted to, if I didn't know where this was, I could simply copy this and then open up and do a file search and it would find this string right here and all I'm going to do is make that theme forts and settings 2 and let's refresh the screen that looks pretty cool right so now we'll save these changes And the real challenge will be when we switch over to it in the theme chooser. So that will be the ultimate test here. Let's uh, see what happens here. It's reloading. Okay, that looks good. Looks promising. Let's go to site admin, appearance, theme selector. Right now I'm using Fortson. But let's see what's in there. It did not register as Fortson 2. Huh. Is there a place that we did not change it? Let's go back here. Fortson 2. Theme Fortson 2. Okay. That looks good. Theme setting, forts and two. Let's go to the config. Ah, right here. Theme name, forts and. So in the config file, you will have to change the theme name to forts and two. There we are. There is forts and two. we'll use this one and let's just make sure it loads a, a clean page it looks like it does so now we have Fortson 2 and we have Fortson as well so that's how you would clone this theme and uh, I don't know exactly how long it took me but it's probably shorter than what you were doing um, so that's a quick tutorial. I hope you found this informative, and I hope that uh, you get the best out of Fortson and Moodle.